Okay, as you can see from the screen behind me, that's the countdown. So we've got six and a half minutes to go before Tesla reveals its Cybertruck, as Elon has come to uh, call it, spelled C-Y-B-R-T-R-K. Um, it was going to be the Tesla pickup, as Americans call it, or the Tesla Ute. I don't even think it will going. It, I don't even think it's going to look like a Ute, um, because Elon's been describing it as a armored personnel uh, carrier from the future, from a sci-fi movie. You know, think Blade Runner. So, um, so it might actually have a canopy over over the tray um, down the back. At the end of the day, no one really knows what this thing is going to look like or what it's going to be able to do. All we know is what Elon has already stated publicly. So I've jotted down a whole heap of points um, and I'll just quickly run through them so we know what to expect. So firstly, the price. Um, so Elon, and I'll have to come back to the price later on as well, he's mentioned that this truck has to be under 50,000 US and he's mentioned $49,000. But then he said it's got to be more functional than an F-150 and better performance than a Porsche 911, which is going to be absolutely incredible. Um, so Porsche 911, 0 to 100 in about 4.4 seconds. The Rivian truck is talking about their uh, ute being able to do 0 to 100 in 3 seconds. So it will be interesting to see. Um, um, let's see how, how fast this thing is, but I think it's going to be faster than a Porsche 911, that's for sure. Functionality, um, it's going to be a dual motor all-wheel drive. The Rivian has uh, got four motors with individual torque to each wheel, so I wonder if it's going to be able to match that. Definitely not at $49,000, but we'll see. Uh, towing capacity, someone tweeted 30,000 uh, pounds. Um, Elon replied back saying more like 300,000 um, pounds. Mind you, there's a big difference between towing capacity and what the truck is rated for. So um, just because you can tow something five meters doesn't mean you can tow it down the freeway. Um, it was going to have self-adjusting air suspension or self-leveling air suspension, which is great. Um, it's also going to have an air compressor to be able to power um, uh, air tools, a uh, heavy duty air compressor. It's going to have 200 vo 240 volt electrical outlets, GPO, so you can basically plug any electrical uh, tool or anything else, even if you're away from the grid. It's going to have a strong roof. It's obviously going to be a big truck. Elon has said that Andre the Giant will be able to fit into it. I googled Andre the Giant, seven foot four inches is how tall, is how tall he was, or 224 centimeters. So it's not going to be a small truck. Uh, it's obviously going to have good water weighting. Um, in terms of range, 400 to 500 miles, which is huge, which is about 640 to 800 kilometers, which is yeah, incredible. Um, once again, not at $49,000, I, I don't think. Um, Look, that's about it. Uh, we've got three minutes to go before the um, unveiling begins. Um, so I can't wait. Um, but as, as soon as I have some more information, I'll uh, put it out there on the channel and uh, you guys can tune in. Um, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell so you can get alerted to new videos as and when they come out. And if you enjoy these videos or if you know someone else that you think may, uh, please feel free to share the video and um, the, the channel with um, any of your friends or colleagues. Can't wait, three minutes to go. Stay safe, stay sustainable and stay ahead of the curve. Ciao.